Hi everyone, I am here today with a chess prodigy from Sri Lanka. This is Fide Master Lokumanage Susal Thevjan De Silva, uh, known popularly as LMST De Silva. Hi uh, Susal, how are you? Yeah. Is that your first name? Uh, yeah, this is my first name. Yeah, okay. Susal. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great. <laughs> so you have had a fantastic run. Uh, your rating on paper, uh, starting with the Olympiad and of course for Abu Dhabi and for Dubai was two two one. Two two one two. Two two one two, and today your live rating is, I would. Uh, it's a uh, two five uh, zero yeah, nine zero nine something like that. You have crossed twenty five hundred live rating in three tournaments. Uh, playing in Chennai first at the Olympiad and then coming to Abu Dhabi making ninety eight rating points and then coming to Dubai making another hundred rating points. uh and you are the the one of those dream run candidates where with a k of 40 you have raced ahead the 2400 to 2500 barrier and you have now you're sitting at a 250 something rating so first and foremost a huge congratulations to you sir thank you uh did you know that this is going to happen to you when you started playing the chess olympiad that you know your level is so good that you're not really a 2212 uh, yeah actually uh, the thing is like uh, i have not played like much tournaments uh, uh, in my like chess career i would say uh, okay. like very like i would say strong tournaments and uh, chess olympiad was like one of my main tournaments like I would like to play. Which and board did you play on? I played on I think a fourth board. Fourth board. Okay. Yeah, and uh, in there I scored nine and a half, a half out of eleven. Yes. And uh, yeah, that was like one of my best performance in my life, <laughs> and that was the highest score of that. For your yeah, in the Olympiad. Right. And uh, yeah, after that, before that, uh, my I played Western Asia, uh, where I got my IM title. I became the champion, and I got IM title. Uh, Under sixteen, under six, under eighteen open. You played under eighteen yeah. open, so you got a direct IM title yeah. when you became the champion of Western Asia. Yeah. Okay, and, and super. Yeah, and then uh, at that moment my rating was around two one fifty something like that. Yes. And the uh, Abu Dhabi Masters is, uh, I think you should have two two plus to play in the Masters tournament. Correct. And then. Uh, after winning the western nation uh, my rating uh, crossed to to uh, 100 2000 right. and uh, it then, became 2212 yeah yes. and my plan was to play chess olympiad and then to play the world youth in romania okay and then uh, my friend suddenly told there is like abu dhabi dubai tournament let's go and play there i see and then uh, i thought it would be a great opportunity that i can play three tournaments with uh, my uh, rating like into with 2212 yeah. and then my like k won't change Correct. Yeah, so uh, that's how I planned. Like I thought, at least my target was to cross to four hundred, but I didn't expect this much actually. Yeah, <laughs> this is fantastic, and yeah. uh, you came here with a target to increase your rating rapidly. But I mean, look how rapidly <laughs> you have increased it. So now your K is going to be ten, but you're going to be sitting with a nice fat rating of twenty five hundred and something, uh, which is fantastic. Um, your uh, uh from sri lanka and sri lanka is going through a really difficult economic crisis right now so why don't you shed some light on how has that affected you uh, personally you know it would be very nice for us to know on a personal level how is that affecting you yeah so uh, first of all like uh, i would say like the dollar uh, it depreciated like depreciated like uh, it almost doubled up if we compare with last year now dollar price is like doubled up yes so So the yeah. Sri Lankan rupee has devaluated. Yeah. Yes. So if we are like going a tour now, the uh, expenses are really high. Yeah. So I actually don't have a sponsor. Mm-hmm. So uh, I am bearing my own. Your own costs. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, that's one of main problem that uh, I would say not diva- not only me that lot of uh, places have in Sri Lanka, and uh, apart from that, uh, I would say there are like uh, daily power cuts in Sri Lanka. and it also affected my training some like those uh, everything uh, but yeah uh, we somehow manage it like uh, like i think uh, in every session i have there is like i'm doing my session with no power like something like uh, 
it's a really hard time in Sri Lanka. So, but we are somehow managing it. It's hard, but somehow managing it. So, you are one of the few uh, chess prodigies that Sri Lanka is actually, uh, I guess, producing. So, uh, does the Sri Lankan government or the Sri Lankan Chess Federation support you all in any way uh, mm. when you perform well in chess? Yeah, uh, the Chess Federation Sri Lanka supports. Uh, but the thing is, in this situation, they are also having a hard time with this uh, economic crisis. But uh, let's say like uh, they are also doing much as they can. But uh, this is a private tournament, so they also actually with this uh, situation, I would say, uh, with this crisis, uh, they are also having a hard time. So uh, for other tournaments, obviously like Olympiad and uh, Western Asia, they are sponsoring. But uh, now I think for these tournaments, like they are also having a, having a difficult hard time. situation. Yeah. So how did you start playing chess? Actually, yeah. When I was six years old, I received a present from my uh, from my friend, mm -hmm. and it was a chess board. And actually, I was really interested that that uh, present. So I was just I don't know how pieces move. I was just playing and keeping this uh, chess board in my bed, and I was really inter interested in this game. Yeah. And then, uh, so and then uh, my mom put me into a coaching. Uh, coach. Yeah. His name was Mirinda Ratnayake at that time. Uh, I was also not uh, like Colombia is the main city in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. but um, I lived in Andhradapura. It's far from uh, from the, the Colombia. Yes. And that time, uh, and that's how I started. Uh, yeah, and then I just started to play those uh, like uh, small small tournaments and started oh. to win in those like under six, eight uh, yeah, age yeah. group. And somehow, uh, when I'm eight years old, I uh, placed third place in the uh, all island and mm. then I played the world youth that was my first tour I see and yeah then slowly you slowly. started getting into the real serious chess yeah <laughs> lovely so do you also study uh, yeah I also study uh, I'm now in 11th grade and uh, it's really even hard to manage like education and uh, those uh, chess uh, but uh, my main priority is of course chess more than uh, okay mm. I'm doing studies but um, my main uh, goal is to become a GM. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, and that's not very far. You've already <laughs> crossed 2500. Tell me with your uh, performances in Abu Dhabi and uh, in uh, Dubai as well as the Olympiad, did you make any norms? Yeah, uh, in the Olympiad, I made a norm. You made an IM norm? Yeah, I made okay. an IM norm. And then uh, in Abu Dhabi, I lost uh, lost the last game against Arjun Kalyan. Oh, I see. Uh, and then I didn't go to any norm there. Norm. Yeah. Okay. And in this Dubai, I think my performance rating is, I don't know still the final rankings are not uploaded. I think something like 2, 4, 4, 2, something like that. Ah, so you just missed Missing down, like uh, right. from 10 points, something like that. But now your aim is to make GM norms, yeah. right? <laughs> because you've already finished being in IM, you've got a direct title. Yeah. So, uh, who's your coach? Uh, right now, I'm training with uh, Georgian Grandmaster David Arutianan. Okay. okay yeah. Very nice. And uh, so, how does your family, are you the only child? Or no, uh, I'm the second child. You're the second yeah. child. So, uh, well, how does your family adjust with you playing chess and traveling? Do you travel with your family or you travel by yourself? No, I'm traveling alone with my friend and yeah. And so, for how long have you been traveling alone? Uh, I think from two years. Since two, two years. Two, so, three since you were 14 years old, you were yeah. traveling on... And then what do you do about food and... Uh, uh, food actually we are ordering from outside. Uh, okay. If we are in the official hotel, we can get the food. Okay. Otherwise you order it. Yeah, so order. here you are ordering yeah. from outside. And here where are you staying? We are staying in Moen Peak yeah, Hotel and Apartments. Peak. Okay. Yeah. So you and your roommate share the apartment and yeah. you are also uh, ordering food. Yeah. So fun for you, yeah? <laughs> the chess tournaments are also fun for you because you are going out on your own and enjoying. Yeah. Uh, do you feel any kind of pressure when you're playing like since you knew you're very underrated yeah. um, and you wanted to cross 2400 were you playing all your games with just that mode that you know I want to play strong and steady and get as many rating points as possible what was your aim yeah actually uh, I would say in the start I didn't have any pressure like uh, in the Olympiad actually like I didn't have any pressure but uh, even in the Abu Dhabi but uh, after the Abu Dhabi, like my rating, my live rating was something like 2421 after finishing the Abu Dhabi, then like I had a small pressure like uh, if I like uh, didn't uh, like didn't play well in Dubai, like my case going in 10, 
like let's say i just uh, decrease my rating like 50 points and then my rate k will go from 10 and then i had a small pressure because in the abu dhabi the masters category that they are only like the lowest rated player was also like 2200 yes, but 20, here yeah, it's not the same correct yeah like um, so you were scared about yeah. losing to a lower rated and losing all your rating yeah like i had bit in that mind but then uh, i forgot that i would like uh, i would just play chess and yeah. just enjoy the tournament and in the, this tournament the first time i played with the 2600 First round I played with Jumbayo. Yes. And that was my first time playing against a 2-6 oh, on the GM. Lovely, yeah. lovely. Fantastic. Mm, yeah. So you enjoyed yourself. Too. Yeah. That's really nice. So what's next for you? Uh, next, mostly I will play the World Junior, which we will held in Italy. Mm -hmm. And then I will play the Asian Continental, I think, which will be in India. Yeah. Yes. And that's, that's, that's it yeah, so far. Well, it was very nice chatting with you. Wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah.